I'm going to try a new, ooh, I'll give this a check in a second. I'm going to try a new format, which is going to be lots of different uh, projects going on at once in one show. So rather than a show on this bike, that bike, the other bike, we're just going to have a show that's probably going to be weekly. And I'm, I'm just, I'm still working out here. Now, you can see on the rooftop tent, this is upside down. So these would go onto your roof bars. There's an extra row of holes. And I don't know what they're for, but if you look at the, if you look at my axle, these are just a little bit too wide. So I'm going to um, not move these in. I'm going to remove these completely, but these are going to be where my top rails of my trailer where this bolts onto the trailer. All right, I've loosened off those screws. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll slide out. I'm just gonna remove the end stop on this end here. And then fingers crossed. This is gonna slide that way. Beauty. This is all aluminium, all of it. And by the time it goes on top of my aluminium chassis, the chap that I went to see today, who is gonna do the welding of the aluminium for me, tells me that he thinks that the chassis, that the frame for the trailer could be around between 10 and 12 kilograms just for an upcoming project. And this is possibly going to be the next project. Uh, I've made some space, as you can see, I got rid of that Harley Davidson and just, just basically made some space. So this is a future project. I will probably start this and do the same thing as I did with the, with the tent there and um, dedicate this build to, I don't know, my, let's say something like 600th subscriber or something like that. Um, I have just got a new, back wheel for this Honda VFR RC36 um, and I've just got an eight spoke wheel for the back of it which is very rare normally these come with a five spoke back wheel which kind of makes them well look like a what they are a VFR RC36 and if you want to make them look like an RC30 which is an awesome race bike they've got the wrong number of spokes so I've managed to find an eight spoke wheel to fit on my RC36. The trouble is it's facing the wrong way so you can't see it. But anyway, future project coming up. And like I say, now we've also, now we've got some room. You can also see the GSXR that doesn't need a heck of a lot doing to it. The Z900 that does, little Yamaha RS125 that just needs a screen really, that's road registered. And oh, I've got the tires on the, on the PS50, you've already seen that. I've just had a, an air filter arrive the other day for it. And I've got some bars and some other bits and bobs for that. Now I'm definitely gonna put the wheels in the middle and then you will adjust the weight on the hitch by how you load anything extra in it. Because you're gonna need a cooker, you're gonna need bits and bobs and some water and that sort of stuff. So I might well put a bit of a something here 